Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. At this time, I just want to take this opportunity to welcome you to this service where we come to honor the departure of our dear beloved brother, uh, Leonard Sylvester Haran. Uh, they tell us that you learn something new every day. And just the other day, I learned something new. I learned that Boogie's name was Leonard. <laughs> I never called him Leonard, never knew about Sylvester. All we ever called him was Booby. And so if you hear me address him as Booby, it's no disrespect. It's just the way in which I knew him. Amen. Amen. That being said, what I'd really like for everybody to do, because I know everybody has been touched in many different ways. And we do not uh, take it lightly. But at this time, if you could, if you were touched by the life, the love, the genuine spirit of Booby, can you please clap your hands and honor all of you? Come on, y'all. It's okay. It is totally okay. It's okay, that's right, it is totally okay. His life made the difference in a lot of our lives. Come on, it is totally okay. And I need for you to do me one more favor before you take your seats for those of who you have stood. I need you to do me this favor because this uh, one act of adoration will cover the entire family. Oh, my God. For Aunt Helen May to be able to walk into this building, slow it down for a moment, to be able to be in her right mind, because this is not her first rodeo in terms of losing a child, but for God to be able to keep her allow her to walk in this building still in her right mind heart heavy but she's still looking upward I need you to clap your hands for the grace the mercy, the love and the comfort of almighty God yes Lord, come on, it's okay it is totally okay Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Auntie, we honor you. We honor you. We give you your flowers now while you can receive them. Yes, Lord. We honor you. One last thing to tell your neighbor, we honor you too. Yes, Lord. Because we believe in our local church that everybody deserves both honor and respect. And so honor to the entire family, honor to the loved ones. And I want to honor the Sewell family uh, funeral service today. I want to honor them. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to come and express our love to our brother in Jesus' name. They could have made a decision where some of us could not have sat on the inside of this service, Amen. Amen. but they decided out of love and mercy you, to give us an opportunity to all come here and to celebrate the life of Booty. Amen. So the Lord honors you, so in your home. And so the Lord. With that being said, I'm going to ask that Elder Douglas Chu would come and bring us the prayer of comfort. And then following Elder Douglas, we will have our scripture readings coming from Elder Woodrow Wallace Jr., the Old Testament and the New Testament in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Uh, just reach over and grab your neighbor's hand. Oh, right, nah, it's COVID. Don't touch him. <laughs> anyway, let's look to the Lord in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Father, it's in the name and in the power of Lord Jesus Christ that we, your sons and daughters, gather on this morning to say thank you, God, for this is the day that your hands have made, and you have caused us to rejoice even so, Lord God, even in the midst of it all, we give your name glory. We come to say thank you, Lord God, for this, our brother. God, we thank you because you've given to him to us. And God, you seem fit to take him from us. But through it all, God, we give you glory. We give you praise because you are God. 
We say thank you, Lord God, for the life of our brother Leonard Booby. God, we say thank you for every life that he's touched. We thank you, Lord God, because we know that you're no shorter than your word. You said in your word, Lord God, that you would go and prepare a place for us. And God, that where you are, you will come back and get us and take us unto yourself. And God, for that, we say thank you. And we that know you today. God, we come to say thank you, Lord God, because we know when you're going to come back and you're going to gather your people unto yourself. And even as we pray, even as we await your promise, God, we pray your blessings upon those, Lord God, that stand in waiting. God, the Howard family today, we lift them up unto you even right now. God, we pray that you would send comfort from heaven today. Let them know, Lord God, that you see every tear they cry and that you hear, Lord God, every moan that they moan. God, God, we pray that you would send that comfort, God, as only you can do. You said in your word that you are the God of all comfort, and we ask you to do it for the family. God, you've proven yourself to them before, and right now, God, we pray that you would do it again. God, we lift up Mother Nana unto you, Lord God. We thank you for the matriarch, my God, that you blessed the hard family with. We thank you for her health, Lord God. Being the way it is, we clap our hands and we give you glory. We thank you, Lord God, for every brother, for every sister, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for the unity of family. And we ask you today, Lord God, that you would ever wrap the hard family, wrap the Wallace family, wrap the wall family in the hollow of your hand, God. And let them know, God, that you're with them, Lord God, even in the midnight hour when the tears are streaming down. God, we ask you to wipe the tears from their eyes and let us know, Lord God, that if we live a life that's pleasing in your sight, according to your word, that you're going to come back and receive us unto yourself. And when we, like booby, Lord God, should go on to see how eternity really is, God, we ask you that you would give us, Lord God, a resting place somewhere around your throne, my God, where the wicked shall recede from troubling, my God. And the weary shall be at rest. Do this thing, Lord God. We have that faith in you today that you started that great work in us, God. And we ask you, Lord God, to complete that work. We ask you, Lord God, to speak to our pastor on this morning. Even as he delivered the word of truth, my God. God, encourage his heart even the more. We know it's his family, Lord God. But we know, Lord God, that you are his father as well as boobies. God, we ask you to do a great work. Even in this service, my God. Those that came in with a bow down head. God, let them leave here another way. In the name of Jesus, let somebody be encouraged by your word today. And we're going to give you praise. We're going to give you glory. We're going to give you all the honor that you asked us to do in your word. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. And we put our hands together all over this building. And we seal this prayer with a praise. We seal it with a praise. For great is the Lord, and he's greatly to be praised. Great is the Lord, the lifter of our head. It's in Jesus' name we pray this prayer. And together we say, amen and amen. Yes, sir. I want to be safe, sir. I want you to be safe. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Let's say my God. Be not dismayed. We serve. Whatever be time, mm -hmm. yes. God will take care of Hallelujah. you. Beneath his wing, love abides. We God will take care of you. Yes. Our Old Testament scripture will be taken from Psalms 91, uh, verses 1 and 2. Exactly. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the yes. Most High God. shall abide under the shadow of his, of his almighty of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him will I trust. Yes, sir. Our New Testament scripture will be taken from the 14th chapter of St. John, yes, verses 1 through 6. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house, are many mansions. Yes, and if it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. 
that where I am, there ye may be also. He said. And whether I go, ye know, and the way ye know. know. Thomas said unto the Lord, Lord, we know not the way you go, and how can we know the way? Jesus said unto him, I am the way, yes, the truth, the life. Yes, no man cometh unto the Father but by me. God contain it as a blessing to the reading of his holy word. Wonderful word of God. Amen. Yes, sir. We thank God for the prayer of comfort, and then we also thank God for the reading of God's holy word, the Old Testament and the New Testament. And at this time, we're going to have a solo coming from Sister Lisa Wall. And then following Auntie, we will have a family tribute from Sister Taisha Harrod in Jesus' name. Amen. Over to Jesus. I don't feel no ways I've come too far from where I started from. Nobody told me that the road would be easy. He bought me this path right. to lead me. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. I don't feel no time. I've come too far from where I started from.
And then following that, we are gonna read the obituary silently. And then we're gonna ask Sister Lisa to come back and provide us with another solo in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. The king has spoken. He sat in his wheelchair with a hat for a crown. He will soon let you know he was nobody's crown. His tongue was sharp, though his body was broken. And we all took note that the king had spoken. He lifted his head and made his request, and we delivered him food and drink at his behest. And he was still full of laughter, though his body was broken. And we rejoiced in his presence because the king had spoken. When you enter the domain of this African king, don't come empty handed. You better have something to bring. He lacked his coffers full, though his body was broken. Be prepared to pay tribute because the king has spoken. Now he would lift up his voice and share his thrill. And he said he found it on Blueberry Hill. <laughs> He joyfully sang from his heart, though his body was broken, well, and his sister sang with him because the king had spoken. Right. He was sitting on his throne as king for a day, and we listened and rejoiced in what he had to say. His love for his family was complete and unbroken. Well, we embraced and loved him because King Leonard had spoken. But the time came when the king needed to rest. Come on, sir. So we are faithfully trusting that God knows best. Yes, Amen. And our king will arise one day with his body unbroken. Come on here. Come on here. Because on that day, mm -hmm. King Jesus will have spoken.
St. John, chapter number 9, verses 1 through 4. St. John, chapter number 9, verses 1 through 4. And the Bible says, And as Jesus passed by, he saw a man which was blind from his birth. And his disciples asked him, saying, Master, who did sin, well, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Jesus, Jesus answered, Neither hath this man sinned, nor his parents, but that the works of God should be made manifest in him. I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day. The night cometh when no man can work. Lifting up verse number three, Jesus answered, Neither hath this man sinned, nor his parents but that the works of yes, God should yes. be made manifest yes. in him. Yes, and I want to talk to you from the theme just for the next few moments, walking tall right. from a seated position. Well, walking yes. tall yes. from a seated yes. position. Yes. Yes, sir. I'm just going to tell you, Douglas, please, 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 because we can turn this real churchy real quick. And I'll forget all about this paper and I'll go in a different direction, but I want to honor God and I want to express to you what the Lord has given to me concerning Brother Lennon, uh, as we better know him, Boo. The definition of the word obvious is easily perceived or understood, clear, self-evident, or apparent. Oftentimes, things that are easily understood by some are often hard to grasp for others. What is obvious, standing in clear view, is often missed by many simply because of its presentation or lack thereof. My question to this great gathering of family and friends is, did you see Booby? Standing tall. Yes. My God, my God, mm. my God, my God. God have mercy. Jesus. The way that I had originally written it, I said, "Did you see Leonard standing tall?" My God. And I followed up and said, "There, I said it." And now that I've gotten that out of the way, I will address him now and forevermore as Booby. Booby. <laughs> During his time here on earth, my did man. you see him in an upright position? Serving as a vessel which God decided to use to manifest his words. Or were you blinded by...
by his physical limitations. Lord, Lord have mercy. Oh, it is clear from the text that God decides not to discriminate the way in which mankind does. God provides an open opportunity for all of humanity to allow his works to manifest through them, but not all except. God cares for us all. And just as he cares for you, he cared for Booby as well. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Booby had the ability to excel in things that many of us still struggle with. Uh -huh. He understood the importance of family. Yeah. And it did not take a pandemic in order for him to reach the level of understanding. Yeah. He understood the importance of appreciating those that took the time to care for and to minister to him. And yes, he understood that even though he was in a seated position, it did not stop him from walking tall. But how do you say uh, that he walked tall in his condition? I would simply reply to you that it is obvious. While he had epilepsy, epilepsy did not have him. It's one thing to be confident amongst those you know. But booby was booby wherever he went. Lord, have mercy. You don't become the East Wing anchor man by being ashamed of who you are. Booby was proud of who God had made him and had no problem with letting you know. I love the way in which the family captured that his tongue was, quote, sharp. Given that this is a religious experience, I'll leave it as sharp. Let's just say that if you caught his spirit wrong, Booby would have no problem in acknowledging that fact. And God gave him an innate ability to know who cared for him and those that meant him no good. During his teen years, when asked something that was very obvious, discerning that someone was asking a question that either they should have known or he felt as though it was on a need-to-know basis, Booby answered the question with a question. Can a duck walk? Mm. Some of y'all know I'm telling the truth. We were always taught never to answer a question with the question, but Booby took a question and answered the question and simply said, Can a duck walk? In St. John chapter number 9, Jesus is clear that there was purpose behind the man's blindness. Jesus said that the man was blind because it provided an opportunity for God to display his power. I believe that there was purpose in Booby's pimp. Notice what I said. I called it Booby's pimp, not his limp, but his pimp. I believe that there was purpose in the time in which he was in the wheelchair. Throughout his time on earth, he showed that God has the power to call those and call who he decides to call. That God can take someone in a seated position and bring someone of the purest joy where you can see the true love that God is trying to show the world. And lastly, I believe that from a seated position, yeah. he clearly showed yeah. that it's not too hard to understand this one fact. Yeah. On. That God so loved the world yeah. that he gave his only begotten son yeah. that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have yeah. everlasting life. Yeah. Yeah. So I close with this final statement. Uh, Pastor Gross, is he in a better place? Yes, sir. Is he at rest? Come on, come on. Is he awaiting the trump of God? Yes. What say you and what is your opinion? Well, I'll respond to those series of questions by saying this. The last time that I checked, ducks were still walking. Oh! Hallelujah. Yes, yes. I'm holding man. And all of those that remain to cherish his memories. I say this one thing to you. That earth has no sorrow. Hallelujah to Jesus. That heaven cannot.
not heal. And I pray that the peace of God will guide your hearts and minds. Family, know this. The Lord honors you. And so do I. My Lord, we thank you for this time of sharing. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you for this moment that you have given unto us to come back and reflect on the life of one that you gave to us. Thank you, folks. Now we ask you to meet our needs yes, sir. corporately as well as individually. Yes, Lord. Keep us with a mind to serve you. Yes, Lord. Keep us with a mind to do your will. Yes, God. And in the days to come, send that sweet peace that has the ability yes, to comfort both hearts and minds. Yes, this is our prayer. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. And all of God's people said, Amen. 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 The last time that I would bother you, please clap your hands if you love Boobie in Jesus' name. you we thank you for your patience and at this time the remaining portion of the service is into the hands of the Sewell Funeral Home. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Hallelujah.